Now with one third of Pakistan under water, the country continues to battle flash floods. Caused due to incessant rainfall this monsoon season, the UN chief has called it a monsoon on steroids, while WHO has warned of significant health risks. In the latest, the World Health Organization has warned over increased threat of further spread of malaria, dengue fever and other water and vector bone diseases among thousands of flood victims. WHO chief said that the UN agency has classified the situation as grade 3 emergency. That is the highest level of its internal grading system. Further, the agency in the statement also confirmed that it was working to increase surveillance for communicable diseases in the flooded country. Officials in Pakistan also raised similar concern. Initially, some doctors said that they were seeing patients mostly traumatized by the flooding, but are now treating people from suffering from diarrhea, skin infections, other waterborne ailments here in the country's flooded areas. The development has forced the government to deploy additional medical teams, dispatch medicine and provide clean drinking waters to, uh, water to survivors here. Pre flood, if we were to see it, we had 50 to 60 patients. Now we have to understand that we have seen 130-140 patients in the night. The night duty is at 9 o'clock in the morning. The historic deluge has impacted 33 million people. That accounts for 15% of the total population of 220 million people. Pakistan has received nearly 190% more rain than the 30-year average in the quarter throughout August this year. Now, displaced people in flood-battered southern Pakistan were seen seeking shelter under makeshift plastic tents. The flooding on Wednesday was caused by water gushing down from mountains between the provinces of Balochistan and Sindh, which has already received 466% more rain than the 30-year average. Further, Bahrain, a popular destination in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, is now a town in ruins destroyed by incredible flash uh, floods here. The residents struggling with basic amenities after the flood took away a lifeline bridge. पहले तो बहुत इजी थी कारोबार चल रहे थे सब क्यों रोजी इनको आसानी मिल सकती थी आप जो है ना अभी इसको 20 अगर 30 साल भी लगे तो उस टाइम वो उसी तरह नहीं हो सकता वो बहुत मुश्किल है और तो आगे अल्लाह मालिक का रिज़क देने वाला अल्लाह के साथ है लेकिन मामलात बहुत मुश्किल है नाम पाकिस्तान प्राइम मि� has called for a need to multiply foreign aid to deal with the crisis, calling the current floods the worst in history. The Premier emphasized on food shortage threat in the country, already marred with record high inflation. Meanwhile, UN Secretary General has decided to travel to Pakistan next week. A tourist is expected to arrive in Islamabad on the 9th of September and will return to New York on the 11th of September. The United Nations and the Pakistani government have launched an emergency appeal for 160 million US dollars to help those hit hardest by the floods devastating the country. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.